Hey everyone, in this lesson I'm going to teach you how to create this brick wall with V-Ray displacement. Okay, so I've modeled, modeled this basic room with just a floor, walls and a ceiling. I made an opening at the top for the light to come in. I set a V-Ray HDRI um, light. Okay, these are going to be our brick walls. I'm going to recreate this uh, large one. So just select it and let's hide it for now. Okay. And now I'm just going to start with a simple box. Set its height. And move it a bit closer to the light opening in the ceiling. Let's go over to the material creation. I'm going to use the texture that I made in the wall brick uh, texture tutorial. So these are the textures that I'm using. Let's start by dragging the diffuse map into the diffuse slot. Okay, you can see it already in the viewport. Now um, the refract map. I'm going to instance it into the refraction uh, glossiness as well. And check the Fresnel IOR. Set it to about uh, 2. Now notice this map is not very bright because the bricks don't need much uh, reflection. So it's going to be very subtle reflection, almost non-visible. The glossiness uh, is uh, supposed to be low, about 0.65. Now let's insert the bump map. To give the brick the fine details, make them pop out. Next I'm going to set the brick size. I'm just going to use a um, simple box on the wall, set, give it a length and width. Let's add a UVW map to the wall and try to match the bricks to the box. So it will be roughly the same size. gonna move it a little bit upwards so it wouldn't collide with the floor and now we can delete this box let's move to our camera view and made a little test render to see the result from now
Okay, so obviously the bricks are uh, flat for now. We didn't make any displacement for the wall. Let's uh, just before the displacement, I want to go to the diffuse and um, reduce the blurriness amount. So it will be a little more sharp. And I'm going to do as well for the bump. Reduce it to about uh, 0.1 and reduce the bump a little bit to about 20 okay now i'm going to add a very displacement mode so we can uh, make the bricks pop out from the wall okay i'm going to insert the texture that i made for the displacement You can see that it's very different from the bump texture. And I'm going to set the amount to about 2.2. Uh, and take the keep continuous option. Now in order to get a good result from the very displacement mode, we need to divide the mesh into small polygons so in the box modifier I'm going to add segments to each of the sides something like that and the height as well try to get the little polygons as squares and not uh, rectangles so I'm going to do the same for the side. Okay, this is about right. Now I'm going to add a turbo smooth to smooth out the edges and give it a little more segmentation. So I add the turbo smooth modifier. As you can see, it rounds out the edges of the box. I'm going to leave it at to one iteration. That looks uh, fine for now. So let's unhide all. And drag it a little bit into the floor so the round edges won't be visible in the lower part. Okay, that's look uh, okay. And let's check out the results. So you can clearly see how the displacement makes the bricks pop out from the wall. Okay, so that was it guys. I hope you liked this video. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.